hosting it today. It's my pleasure. My name is Lainey Manzi, and of course, I'm alongside Mr. Albert Rudatsimburgwa. Good morning, Lainey. Good morning, Albert. Good morning, Archie Henry. Good morning, Lainey. I like your energy today. Ah, As always, have, but when you're presenting, you it's have to there. make the best of what life gives you. To be honest with you, it didn't start out so great, but <laughs> who cares? <laughs> <laughs> A number of things, guys. We're still talking about Archie. Uh, Archie. Archie. Yeah. <laughs> talking about Archie. I am Archie. Archie Hendel. I'm Archie Henry. <laughs> we are still Charlie, but Charlie may be pushing it. <laughs> and it's Charlie us. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, so, so, so uh, the conversation obviously continues with Charlie Hebdo, the, 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 uh, the, the latest issue, the first after uh, the, the, uh, the attacks on Charlie Hebdo came out. Uh, was widely uh, bought, but sparked protests uh, all over the world in the Muslim world. Uh, from people saying, well, we did support you, we are Charlie, but somehow we're still not okay with, uh, with uh, uh, drawing I mean, we, were, we, were, we Yeah, we, we supported the victims. Exactly. And then you betray us. Uh, the victims <laughs> and the principle maybe of uh, freedom of speech, but... Uh, with the limit that, that, yeah. that it doesn't give you a blank check for freedom to, to, to injure and to, and to offend. Absolutely. And to make a profit out of that, because 5 million copies were sold throughout the country. That's uh, a lot. And uh, usually the the average was forty thousand uh, for a Charlie Hebdo cover, and yes. now it was five million. So, yes, so that's the, big. The, the profit was probably emotional. It probably didn't matter what was on the cover. What's yeah. your take on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it wouldn't have made. It. If if Charlie had been wise. Uh, I, I even believe they would have made more profit if, if, if it's about profit, but it's not about profit. And 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 and, thing, and, it, and it's and, it, and it's good that you bring it up to say those five meals are, are in France only. Yeah. And, right. and, and 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 in Africa, it has been banned uh -huh. in most countries. Uh -huh. uh, in Turkey, uh, uh, the front pages have been uh, blurred. Yeah, you know. All, all kind of so, so you have all kind of that reaction so now you trigger and now you're pushing the world to just show that there are cultural differences uh -huh. you know yeah we know exactly. that but yeah. you're pushing now the world to say you know what there is white and the rest uh, yeah, and, and, and it's not even, you know, the, the, yeah. there is a, a white fortress somewhere. And, and you were mentioning Turkey that blurred some of the images. What's interesting is even among the Western world, there's a lot of division among the media about yeah, yeah, what to do. Yeah, like, Sky you, have, News. you have the old school media like New York Times, Wall Street Journal that have been very uh, reticent, that haven't really wanted to publish the. Not just yes. old school, yeah. not just old but, school. But the new ones, you know, like the big players like Slate, BuzzFeed, all of those, you know. Yeah, more, these the, are small ones anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but 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 like broadcasters like Sky News, like uh, someone comes, uh, 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 yeah, like they didn't want to 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 show with the camera the the, the front page, exactly. You know? And then you have the 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 the, the, the guests coming and and trying to to force, you know, and and the presenter saying sorry, mm -hmm. but we, we we have decided on our editorial has decided that we're not going there, and it is not this is not. Uh, uh, self uh, uh, um, censorship. Censorship. Okay, yeah. You know, it, it, it's about it's Morals, about yeah. yeah. No, it's it's taking a, a stand to say why do we want to upset billions of people on this planet? Why? Uh, exactly, uh, and it does bring up the uh, the issue though of uh, uh, the, the kind of outpouring of support that we have seen from the world, the world over, including the Muslim world, exactly. for what happened, the terrorist attacks. Absolutely. Uh, makes us wonder. You just uh, brought up a part of of of, uh, uh, of that conversation that we, we were having. We were saying we are Charlie, but is Charlie us? us? Is Charlie getting the message that the world tried to uh, to send it? What's your take on that? Well, the, I, I really I um, I don't think the guys from I, I think I don't think the guys. I mean, the guys from Charlie has shown they have shown now the limit of understanding mm -hmm. even the world. Mm -hmm. They are petit. They are petite. They're just playing in the, in, the, in the kindergarten right right now. They don't see the world. I mean, what what was triggered? Not by them, but by by how in fact France is is, is getting there. Mm. You know, and they don't get it, and they've been uh, benefiting from 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 a situation, but they are too petit. But that pushed me to another thing, to yes. another level. Even in France now, this thing is is growing. 
I mean, uh, 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 first of all, I, 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 I saw on uh, one of the, uh, uh, one of the shows on the, on the TV. I think it was Antenne 2. Yes. Envoyé spécial, and it was about this guy Koulibaly. You know, it was about him. People who had interviewed him before, he had been in prison. He had done himself some 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 filming in from inside the prison, the, the, the daily experience and all that. Showing the guy like a nice guy somehow. Yes. You know? Like a nice guy somehow. And that nobody could even imagine that this guy was into this uh, extreme jihad uh, uh, Muslim uh, terrorism. Yes. At all. Mm. And that means that if, if the society around you is not even aware that you are tumbling down, sliding down, gliding down, uh, inch by inch, you know, every day. That means that he's not, I mean, th there you will understand also what Dieudonné means. Mm. I mean, to me, according to me, what, what Dieudonné said now is, is, is in another light. Mm. There is a problem of having Koulibaly's. Mm. Every, I mean, it's coming up, you know, and nobody is, is is looking at that, and that is what 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 this whole, you know, it, it's like they ask for one minute of science uh, in schools, and some kids didn't want to, to to participate. Kids, kids didn't want to because they are already now alert, they are already aware that something is wrong in the society, and they are part of 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 of, of being victim of 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 that whole society, and they and they're still kids. Sure. So exactly, and and, and 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 there may be the situation where they they um, this issue what, what what we are seeing around the world is that it's very <laughs> controversial. If when when people say I am Charlie, we are not we don't all abide by that statement in the same way because we don't understand it the same way. Exactly. And 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 Charlie Hebdo doesn't seem to make it easier for people to actually confidently say that. I think maybe that's the unease that some of these kids may have. Sure. I think the, the what's important about I Am Charlie is that uh, this that slogan, in a way, uh, again, we've mentioned it many times, it's about being in solidarity with the victims. I, that's how I understand, that's how many people understand. This doesn't mean you support Charlie Hebdo and endorse them. I think what's interesting about I Am Charlie is that that slogan, in a way, exists to prevent people from uh, using uh, the, the offensive caricatures of Charlie Hebdo, using that argument mm -hmm. to in a way indirectly justify um, the, 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 the crime and the yes. attacks. Yes. And I Am Charlie is there to in a way protect um, the victim's honor and, and stand in solidarity with them. It's, it's yes. there as like a barrier to prevent that sort of shortcut of justification that plays into the jihadi hands. And that's why I think it's, it is a fundamental problem in this debate, a problematic if we can put it that way, how to discuss the hypocrisy of the French state, how to discuss the offensive nature of Charlie Hebdo without indirectly justifying the crime. That's, I think, something to explore, that question, uh, because when we are pointing out hypocrisy of the French state, that's exactly what ISIS and Al-Qaeda want people to say throughout the world. Would we go as far as saying hypocrisy or maybe double standards that double exist standards. In, in, a, sure. in, in that society? But you do bring up, both of you brought up the name of Dieudonné, and, and which which uh, brings up another side to this story. Uh, many people said, I am Charlie, I believe, in defense of the, 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 the freedom of expression and, and uh, freedom of the press. Uh, and freedom of opinion. Uh, however, now are we not witnessing one of these double standards where uh, people have been people have uh, have argued their right to not be in Charlie, and now uh, Dieudonné, uh, a, a very famous uh, humorist, now turned politician, uh, some would argue not a good one, uh, but that's their opinion about it, uh, now faces possible jail, uh, jail time for just posting on, 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 uh, on social media, uh, I am Charlie Koulibaly. Uh, are, are we not seeing I, I, I people going over the, the extreme on the other end because of this uh, uh, whole Charlie? Well, 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 yeah, I think that what's interesting here, Lion, uh, as, as you rightly say, uh, this thing makes us now again to be, I mean, to, to feel uneasy about, about, about the reaction of the state, yes. uh, of the system. Uh, 
even though even Charlie has been condemned in the past, Charlie yes. Hebdo. So, so, but it, it is a time. But I believe that all of this, all of this, are just symptoms that is showing that there is inside the French society a growing problem, mm -hmm. and that is and 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 racism. Even when it's cultural, it's not just it's not just racial as as racial, but there is a, a whole component of the French society that is on another speed, that is on another level. That and 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 and, and France has to look into that. Mm -hmm. And it's not just France; it's it's even Europe because maybe Europe didn't didn't understand that there is a globalization and the whole world is. In, inside Europe already, and that you will have to be to 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 to, to I mean to, to to take in consideration that these people are there. That today you do have French Muslims, mm -hmm. and they don't want to be, and they want to be respected as Muslims too. If mm -hmm. if they if they want to respect France as a country as a nation, mm -hmm. they also want to be respected as Muslims. And the killers and were French. The killers were French. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's, that's why you see you have the kids of France and killing the, uh, the journalists of France. And, and and the kids in school, in school, not wanting to be part of that as kids. That shows you a lot, mm. you know. That shows you a lot. Absolutely. Now, you you did just mention uh, uh, the problem that the world is now in Europe, and Europe is now seems to be facing a security crisis in terms of of terrorism. Now, we heard uh, this crackdown in Belgium in Verviers. Mm. Uh, well, uh, apparently, many operations, but two killed in in Verviers specifically. So, terrorist cells well implanted in Europe. Mm -hmm. Well. Uh, it, It seems that there, there is an, an, uh, an underground organization that is present, and uh, maybe I, uh, one of the things I, I was also seeing some more news, and, and, and people have been saying that uh, that yes, security organs have been pointing at the at the wrong directions most of the time in the past. Yes, thinking that they they should look for the solutions. In Turkey or at the border with, with uh, Turkey, Syria, and all that, when the the real danger now is in fact much closer is that home? inside, yeah, at home. Yeah, but but remember today, you see, you have the situation that you you, you remember those boat people that that, that um, leaving Africa, yes, uh, and trying to, to to reach Europe by by boat and. Mm -hmm. When you think about it, we are pretty much in a, in, a, in, a, in a similar parallel situation when people just leave home knowing that they're going on a journey where they could just die. But it's so bad at home that they say, instead of dying there... It seems to be a good alternative. Instead of dying there, I could die there or... And die trying. And die trying. <laughs> like 50 like cents. Like 50 cents, say. you know? Yeah. So it's, it's like, it, 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 somehow for me there's a parallel because there's a kind of same generation. You are in the West already. You are there, but you don't, you don't seem to find it. Mm -hmm. And you say, you know what? Let me try for that. Mm -hmm. and, 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 it, and, and it brings you, it pushes you to extreme situations. Sure. And these guys are going there and they accept it. Mm -hmm. And that is, in fact, the disease that is now growing. Ruin, yeah. Ru yeah. yeah. Uh, I just wanted to bring back one thing on Charlie Hebdo, if, if I may. Uh, absolutely. Um, so when we're talking about hypocrisy, because there are double standards, there is also pure hypocrisy in, yes. by the French state in that making that whole solidarity march about freedom of expression. It should have been just about solidarity for the victims. It should have been about freedom of expression because it's exactly. easy for this French state to then contradict itself and then say, okay, do the day you're going overboard. Okay, the kids should pay more sounds. But the, 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 the real... But did they make it about freedom of expression or is that an interpretation? Uh, most that's, of that's, it must have been, uh, has been, you know, people have been really pushing, pushing that. And that is why they say, like you were saying in, in another show, is, is, is Charlie Hebdo showing their resilience, mm -hmm. you know, and it was about freedom of expression. Yeah. I mean, and the state did, did make the, those different statements, actually. Yes. But uh, I just want to push back into this point of, of 
Al Qaeda and ISIS, and and you may think this is uh, you know me extrapolating too much, but I do think us talking about hypocrisy of the French state, us talking about uh, Charlie Hebdo double as offenses, standards. double standards, yes. is actually playing into their hands. This is actually what they want. I don't. I wouldn't go as far as saying this is a victory for them, mm -hmm. but us doing all this questioning is actually helping them. But yes. the real question is now: Isn't it Charlie Hebdo that provoked, in a way, is provoking currently this? sort of victory for by publishing five million by putting Mohammed back by making the world realize that there is this hypocrisy in France mm -hmm. oh, and that's the paradox because Charlie Hebdo likes to say it is the one gaining it is uh, shutting out shutting out the extremists by continuing its work by continuing to publish by not being afraid that's their victory but on the other hand they're losing because now the world is is, is, que is questioning Charlie Hebdo is questioning freedom of speech. I, I see. Uh, you know, I don't, for yeah. me, at, today, Charlie is too petty. Yeah. I don't even want to, to discuss them anymore. Yeah. They're too petty. Yeah. Be, but I'm, I'm raising here a problem, in fact, of, of, of the French society. Sure. And it's not just French. Mm -hmm. And it, it is actually really, it's, 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 it's pretty much European. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, it, 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 there, is a, there is a Western crisis there. Mm -hmm. There is a Western crisis, and, and, and Charlie is now out of the picture to me. You know, I, I, the, 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 the moment of glory we gave them, it's, it's over. And sure. they even blew it. You sure. know? And they're too petty. And, so I, 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 and, and why is so, that? So, yeah. so I, ISIS, ISIS is, is, that is part of, 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 the, of, of, of showing that there is a problem. Yeah. Is if ISIS is attracting people from Europe, to be part of that, sure, that sure. is the real thing. Yeah. So it's not about uh, was it now a victory? Or no, there is a problem, and mm. and Europe seems not to be so sure. to be open or awake yeah. and, and alert on, uh, on, on this situation. Uh, and it it seems to me there's a, there's a uh, very typically Western narrative when it comes to terrorism. What they say that's what they want. Mm -hmm. They want to fight. They they want they 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 they, they, uh, they want to to to. Uh, <laughs> They are fighting our way of life. Yeah. They want us to question, but is that really what the terrorists want? So you're accusing or me. They just want, or they just want to kill people. <laughs> or they just yeah. want to impose no, their way of well, life. It helps them. I don't think they consciously think of the strategy uh, to get the West to talk. But, but does it, though? Does it, though? Because I think... Uh, the, 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 the whole point of, of at least the narrative of the West sure. or what it should be is to, to having that kind of society that has this, that, uh, that entertains that kind of debate. So, 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 uh, uh, I'm not so sure that the, that the point that terrorists try to make is, may, is putting into question, uh, the, the way of life of the, or, or this way, or, or I don't even think it plays in the hand of, of, of what they want to accomplish. But, but I, I think we, they do just know, we do know they, 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 a lot of their strategies about recruiting, uh, and, and it helps them to recruit in the West uh, in terms of logistics, planning attacks, people that already know the terrain, all that. So, so yeah, I, I don't think. You're, I think, you're, but, but every every situation is, is, is different. Uh, I mean, you you, uh, you don't hear too too many. Uh, in uh, you don't hear uh, terrorist attack in, in Lithuania or, or you know or yeah. Luxembourg or you know you know we we, 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 we we I mean France has been has been has been playing world power mm -hmm. so of course they are facing also uh, the, the, this, this this situation much more than Lithuania you know much in, more in, than Germany and UK even uh, I don't know about UK, but certainly much more than Germany, because the UK has also has a, has also a blood relationship sure. with the, with Middle East and, all, and, and Islam yeah. and all that. But indeed, um, they have been dealing with that in different ways. Mm -hmm. like, like that is what 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 I'm taking from from your reaction. And in, and and in France. There has been an Islamophobic positioning mm, yeah. of, 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 of the society, of, of, the, of the leadership ever for the last 30, 30 years. And in I mean, a way, Charlie have, Hebdo uh, has been animating that, in uh, a way. Forget Charlie Hebdo. Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 don't the, bring the, them back. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I totally agree with you. Uh, <laughs> and, and I think, just to quickly maybe, maybe add something to, to what you keep saying about Charlie Hebdo, yeah. is that their whole, their whole uh, modus operandi, let me call it like that, 
is to spark debate. That is the way, the very way they, they, they get to exist in this world. Mm. So, so, so I'm not surprised that they try to offend people because mm. without that, uh, is there any substance to what they do? But like uh, Albert Redley put it, uh, the, the, the debate, I would like to, to, to take it somewhere higher mm. than, uh, than, 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 than just a, a, a controversial uh, sure. media outlet. Uh, terrorism, yeah. we're still talking about that around the world. Coming back to Africa, we hear uh, the president of uh, Cameroon, Paul Biya, announcing that Chad will be uh, sending troops, may, may be sending troops to uh, help in fighting Boko Haram. Mm. Mm. Uh, I, 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 I caught that. I, I, I caught it just as a headline. I, I, I haven't digged more into that. Exactly. Yes. But w what we know is that Paul Bia has been, uh, you know, quite giving the image that Cameroon has been successful in past weeks, uh, past months against Boko Haram. Uh, you never hear news of Cameroon being like overwhelmed like Nigeria is. Mm -hmm. And whenever you hear about Cameroon and Boko Haram, it's you know the Cameroonian army has defeated. Uh, Boko Haram has killed X number of militants. Uh, so now getting help from Chad into Cameroon, sure, that may be helpful. Yes. Uh, but then I'm questioning the whole so narrative. You, I'm questioning that whole narrative of efficiency of the Cameroonian army. If no, they're but needed. What, what, no, but what did you say? Your problem is the Cameroonian army? Are you, do you have a beef with the Cameroonian army? I did, did I say I have a problem? <laughs> yeah, but, I'm but, questioning. But, 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 yeah. but exactly, that's where I'm going. Yeah. The thing is, Chad announcing that they are sending troops. Mm -hmm. So for me, what I read is that, okay, fine, at least there is a collaboration, an interstate, uh, interstate collaboration. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. that, that, that is when, the most important When a thing. state needs another state's support to send troops into its country, there is usually a problem with that country's uh, army. Absolutely not. Absolutely really? not, Archie. The, the, what you have to read here mm -hmm. is that at least people getting making sense that this is a, a cross-borders problem, mm -hmm. you know? So it's not, about, about, it's not about having a weak army or a strong army, because you've been trying to assess the Cameroon army ever since we, whenever you talk about Camer Cameroon and Boko Haram. And that's not the point. Mm -hmm. The point is at least that you have Bia, you know, saying, you know what, maybe we should come and, and, and sit together and, and, and assess this problem and work fine, together. Fine, that that respect, is most, that is that most really, yeah. important thing, you know. Yeah. It's not about Cameroon being strong or weak or what. That's not the point right here. Is that is there anybody in charge? Because you can say uh, uh, Bia now announcing that. Uh, it, uh, some PR news for 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 good luck who went in 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 the, in in the in the northern uh, uh, northern Nigeria to at least appear there and see what the what the the, the level of, of devastation is now yes. of, uh, and at least it, 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 this for him PR for him I, uh, I can't believe until I see I see results but for the other guys at least coming together instead of going to Paris to go and discuss that but having, especially after uh, after President Paul B uh, making. That, exactly. that remark to, to uh, he, his uh, African counterparts. Uh, exactly, I think he's taking a, a step, and, and 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 I would I would even commend that they the, the dig a bit deeper into that. But I believe also that uh, for me it's it's that comment, that reaction with Chad and all that that shows me uh, somehow that uh, th that Bi is getting more conscious about about the the danger that the Boko Haram if you don't. Manage Manage it now. Yes. Okay. That it, how it can how it can grow. And, and one last thing on Chad. There was uh, in the past rumors that um, that Chad would actually be a state that would be contributing to the Boko Haram problem in Nigeria at least. Mm -hmm. uh, now we have this possibility of Chad helping out Cameroon. You know, which could dispel those, those rumors, which could show that Chad is actually committed uh, to to stopping this problem. Yes. You know, and, and not at the same time financing it. Uh, yeah. So. But, but you know, these kinds of 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 uh, of. of um I mean, rapid accusations about things, uh, about like Chad, Chad, Chad. You know, it's, it's, it's like uh, saying uh, the, the army, or Nigerian army, is, uh, is or, or FRDC is working with, with, with FDLR. 
it's never the army. It's never Chad. It's individuals. Uh, yes. Yeah. You know. You know. So so sure. So and he in this situation, especially, you know, I believe more and more with what happened in Nigeria, that that could also have been uh, ringing the bell in in, in Cameroon and, and Chad. Mm -hmm. You know. Yes. Now, guys, the time, time is of the essence. So unfortunately, we have just a few minutes to go. Now, we couldn't possibly leave the studio without mentioning that yesterday the first press conference uh, of 2015 was held at Uruguiro Village. That's the press conference of uh, the President of the Republic of Rwanda, Paul Kagame. Any highlights, guys? Um, I know. I know that he talked uh, a, a, a lot of, uh, about what's going on in the world and about terrorism in general. So I wasn't there, but uh, no, I was. I, I, I yes, heard some. Please, please tell I, us. I just, I just want to say one thing about w w what people have been talking about. Uh, yes, uh, that this was one of his best press conferences in a long time. Uh, actually, one of his best cr press conferences ever. Mm, uh, uh, first of all, because uh, the people there weren't asking questions that were petty. Uh, questions about um, Charlie Hebdo. Charlie Hebdo. <laughs> no, that's not petty. No, no, I mean, like in the past, there, you know, there were questions asked about, like the potato farmers that need had haven't received their compensation in the East. Yes. And, and so what and, was the and now the, the, now the big question? Kind of well, Albert was asking questions. So I mean, it was more macro. It was yeah. more real issues. And, and uh, like yeah, other times he has been asking questions as well. So it would be interesting to know what was different, Albert. What was different from? Uh, no, but I, I don't go there. I, I yes. think the thing is one of the Best call. I mean, I mean, it's a, he's, a, he's in general. He's in general good when 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 the people. Best, the best ever. That's what you see on all YouTube videos posted. The best ever. Uh, so, <laughs> really? No, no, no. I mean, I mean not, not the press conference. Any anything ah, yeah. posted. It's like the, the best ever. ever. Yeah, like yeah, really. No, no. It was it was interesting. Uh, the, um, you know, it, it, I think it's always a privileged moment. You know, to to, to yes. be able to 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 exchange uh, w w w with the head of state. Uh, that is uh, that is the leading uh, head of states on the continent. Any, anyway, um, I think anything what was specific it? about uh, matters regarding Rwanda, FDLR. Well, FDLR, you know, people keep asking. You know, it's it's always funny because. I, 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 the, the two questions, uh, well, I knew that that question would be asked like 10 times, maybe, so I, didn't, yes. I just left it for, 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 but, um, uh, for, for, for my colleagues. But I'm always um, uh, amazed when it, the people working for, for those uh, mainstream media, you know, they always come and, and, and they seem to know already before they ask, mm -hmm. you know. So they, they, they're telling the, 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 the president, like, obviously, uh, Monisco is, is getting ready to, to, to attack FDLR. I wonder, and this is the guy from Reuters, you know. Yes. And and I wonder where where did he see that, you know? And I, okay, fine. The, the the president didn't say, okay, tell me how and and who organized, who's leading even the attack. So, but they keep insisting, and he says, you know what? Uh, his response was, from the past, nothing ever happened. Yes. For the future, they keep telling that they will do it, and we are in the middle. <laughs> you know, of that, it, yeah. Yeah, we, yes. the, meaning that you know what? We'll, let's wait and see. But I, I don't really believe. Uh, I think uh, this was on on FDLR. This was um, also on the East African community explaining. It is also a moment where he can explain that you know the Northern Corridor. Uh, is a way to fast tracking to 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 get in things m moving. Yes, because it could be sometimes it could slower with more people, but putting there a template, a model that the others can then join in, and that they're not being left out. Because now next month is is a uh, is a new head of state of the East African Community uh, Summit uh, in, in TZ, and I think uh, Tanzania is also taking over, mm -hmm. just to show also that there is no bad blood in the East African community. It's just that there are and 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 when you think about it, it has been like that with with most uh, entities like like the like the uh, European Union. We, we only have today all of these countries, but there has been a fast tracking before in the beginning uh, when there were only six. Before that, there were only three, six, and then and so on. And, and people have been uh, c coming in into something that had been uh, tested and all that. So yes. yeah, for me, it was a great uh, a great moment to 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 spend with the the president. 
different in the sense that you get some some information, you get the flavor, you get the temperature, you get uh, where where Rwanda where Rwanda is going at this time of, of the year, you know. Mm, uh, but more than that, I uh, I, I think. Uh, yeah, waiting for the for the next one. And then some people oh. ask him questions about Charlie Hebdo. I'm sorry to bring this back, but wasn't it part of the press conference? Uh, it, 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 uh, it appears to have been. Uh, it was that uh, yeah. we asked him. Oh, we asked yeah. him about terrorism, yeah. growing terrorism, and and, okay. and 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 all that because okay. Dacia was was say he's been. A, He's been, um, uh, in fact, a supporter of, of, of security as a development factor. So now the growing terrorism in the world, and especially also in Africa, sure. you know, how, how it uh, threat does he... And then his take on what had happened in France, sure. that gave him the opportunity to, to respond on that. All right, guys. So it is on that point that we'll wrap it up for today. Wrap and, of wrap. course, uh, the, the conversation continues. Some of us on Twitter, others in our heads. This has been the news review on 89.7 Contact FM, of course, on C24. So we say hi to all of you guys, wherever you are. Hi. Please stay tuned because the Kenya Rwanda version is coming up. And later, the French I am, Lion Imanzi. I've been alongside my very good friends, Albert Rudatsim Bourgois. And of course, Archie A. Henry. I confirm he is indeed Archie. Archie. Like I said in the beginning, we are still Charlie, but don't push it. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned and have a great day.